welcome to the CASA Game of the Week brought to you by TV Kochiko and Holy Cross Television. This week, the Holy Cross Junior Crusaders play the Regi Panthers at beautiful Tyndall Field at Queen's University for the Friday Night Lights game. My name is Rob McDonald. I'm a teacher at Regiopolis Notre Dame Secondary School, and I'm joined by Tim Pendergast, a teacher at uh, Holy Cross Secondary, and we will be your announcers for the game. Tim, this has become a bit of a tradition over the past few years now with uh, the teams meeting on a, on a Friday night game under the lights, hasn't it? This is our uh, third Friday night light game, and uh, I'm actually looking forward to it, uh, being down here on a turf field, field turf. Uh, much a little different atmosphere than Richardson Stadium. That's right, Richardson Stadium uh, not available tonight, but uh, the atmosphere here at Tyndall is, uh, is really exciting because it's a smaller, nicer venue. And we're underway. Holy Cross, a bit of a fumble off the uh, kickoff. And Rigi with a nice tackle down there. That was a great tackle by uh, number 17, Adam Moody, who uh, after a little attempt to reverse on the kickoff return, um, a little slow start for the Crusaders. Yeah, tough line. field position to start things off for sure. The, uh, the, the atmosphere here is completely different than Richardson. It's much more uh, like a college atmosphere, actually. Yeah, they, they're expecting about 2,000 fans or so, depending on the weather, of course. Well, we're hopefully, we're getting lucky right now. Yeah, things look great right now. Holy Cross has a very powerful backfield in uh, number nine, John Luke Richardson, 33, Thomas Daschle, and uh, number 23, uh, Eric Dodwell. And that's Richardson running it up the gut there. Nice stop at Rigi. Looks like he picked up about five or six off that play. We'll bring up a second and four situation. Carry was by Richardson. Holy Cross off to a, a, a really good start this season. Pick They're four and all right now and uh, really have been rolling through the past couple of opponents. Yeah. Holy, Holy Cross and Frontenac have been the powerhouses in the junior loop for the last few years, but every now and then there are teams like Rigi that are nipping at their heels. Dashiell on the, up the or so that's Eric Dawell up the middle. Another stop there, close to the first down. May have got a couple on that play. They bring up a third and short. The other thing about this game on Friday night, the intense, the rivalry exists, but on a, a night like tonight, it's even more intense. Yeah, I'm corrected. That uh, actually is a first down for Holy Cross. They're moving the chains. Full house backfield for Holy Cross, two tight ends, a flanker out on the right. Going to run off tackle. Ricci stacking the line nicely there. That was Tom Daschle on the carry, about a three-yard gain. I think Tim Hunter's trying to get everybody a touch here early on. All backs have carried the ball. Well, it's probably got to be a lot of nerves for a game like this as opposed to the normal game, isn't that right? Well, I think it's a little bit tougher to start an offense for that reason, too. I mean, the kickoff return, the ball wasn't caught in the air, it bounced funny. It's a long day, too, after pep rallies at both schools. That's and right. I'm sure the kids are drained emotionally. And they know the crowd's bigger than normal as well. All right, it's Pendergast back to pass. He's got a receiver open. Nice play there by number 17 from Reedy. That's Adam Moody. A Wolf Island kid, I believe. That was two good plays for him today. Third and eight. It's a third and long situation. Junior football not really known for the passing game, but is this a situation where you're going to throw the ball as well? well? You might see a play like a screen or something like that, but you're right. I mean, it's not a... Uh, if you can complete anywhere near 50%, you've done well in the passing game. The receiver was open. Oh, he's in a spread set. Let's see what they're going to do here. And they're keeping people in tight on the line. They're going to go for a sweep. Looks like he's got the corner. Nice tackle. Moody gets oh. him, slows him down just enough. That looks close well, to a first close. down, actually. It'll be interesting what Mr. Hunter does here, whether he goes for it or not. The field is not marked like a uh, traditional football field. Well, they're sending out the punting unit. The uh, It's lined over um, only every 10 yards. And there's no hash marks, so the referees are going to adapt as best they can. And Does that change for the players at all, what they're used to on the field, or are they just still going to be putting their heads down and running straight ahead? Some teams use the uh, marks a lot. But at this level, for the players themselves, they should just be pushing on, right? Yeah, they can. They can. Yeah. All right, so oh. here comes the kick from Holy Cross. A little bit of pressure. They got the punt off. Field it cleanly. No yards flag, on the play. No yard play. Well, this is going to be nice field position for the Panthers to start their first offensive possession here. They're inside the uh, Holy Cross end. And uh, that'll be a 15-yard penalty, which will move it up even more. It'll be inside the 40. That's the kind of start Reggie wanted. Yeah, this is a great opportunity for Reggie to get off on the right foot here. Reggie's coming off a big win over LaSalle. That was a really big win for them. Uh, meanwhile, Reggie, uh, pardon me, Holy Cross, uh, just handed uh, Ernestown a big loss. So both teams are really uh, playing well right now. They, they are. 
Rigi, I think, for them. They've lost the last few years to the junior team in Holy Cross. And, That's right. and if, if they win this game, it would be a huge motivational boost for the team. I backfield. The handoffs to Bastos, who's going outside. Looks like he's got a little bit of room. He picked up about four yards on that play. He bounced it nicely outside there. The original play was set to go off tackle, and he saw that the, the hole was plugged, and he moved outside nicely. A second so and six. Second and about six, yeah. yeah. Rigi Juniors have a slightly different set. They have three wide receivers in their formation. One tight end on the left. So 54 is a slot back. He's going in motion. Let's see if they stick with the running game here. That's Jake Halton. Looks like Bastos again. Again kicking it outside. Nice hit there. Nice tackle. That's number 51. Number 50. Oh, we got to look at the names. Oh, Jay Mackey, number 51, another grade nine. So that's a third and short play right now. See if they stick with the running game here. Most likely will. It seems to be working so far anyway for them. I know the couple of names we've called so far are uh, rep hockey players in the city and their teammates on. So it's, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of bragging rights going on here tonight oh, also. High formation again. Fake toss. Short handoff nice counter inside. Back. Fullback carried Looks that one. Like he did get the first down there. Number 50 for Rigi Juniors, Tyler Ashurst. One of the uh, interesting like things about the field here tonight, Rob, is the uh, the goalposts are in the end zone, like an American style field. So any attempts at a field goal will be different in that they have to kick it an extra 10 yards. It's just that much further, that's right. And the end zones are not uh, 20 yard end zones or 25 yard end zones, they are 10 yard end zones. So. That makes a big difference as well for what, uh, if you may call a passing play, for example, there's not as much room there, right, for the receivers to move around. Except I think in most games, I don't think that last 15 yards ever becomes a factor. And I think I think even a few years ago they changed it from 25 to 20. And you know, because it's not used very often in, at the high school level, it doesn't become a factor at all. All right, we got a fourth and short situation here for region. It looks like they're going to go for it. And why not? It's too far for a field goal, and the uh, punting team just get the rouge. So let's see if uh, region can pick up the first down here. Again, in uh, Canadian football, the, the fact that teams have to give a yard of the neutral zone changes short downs quite a bit. Although Holy Cross closed ni nicely. This will be close. Ever, that was nice defense there. Looks like they may have stopped it. We'll see where the, the spot is. No, they did stop it. They did stop it. So it's first down Holy Cross. Big, big defensive stand for them. That could be a, the turning point of a game if uh, Holy Cross can put a drive here together. With four downs in uh, junior football, it, it's very much an offensive battle. You need to score when you have the ball. Turnovers are key too. Especially when you're in the situation that Rigi just was, right? When you have such great field position to start things off, you got a bit of momentum. You we'll do. see how they react now. Yeah. All right, here come the Crusaders on offense again. They got an eye formation. Looks like a full backfield actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's a full house backfield. Three in the backfield. One uh, wide out on the right. Dashiell off the right-hand side. And picked up a couple there. The, the defense for Rigi is stingy in the only about a three-yard gain, two-yard gain. What's the difference between playing on the artificial surface versus uh, uh, the real grass? Well, when I used to play many moons ago, I mean, it was quite a bit of a difference. The, you couldn't wear cleats. You had to wear running shoes. It was very grippy and hard. Not necessarily from the impact, but from sliding after you land. Um, this is field turf, though. It's, it's supposed to be exactly like grass. Again, going up the middle. Picked up a couple yards. Eric Dywell on the carry. Looks like about a third and five coming up for the Crusaders. I guess the cuts are, are uh, a little bit harder as well with the artificial surface, is it? Well, I, uh, on, on the old turf, it, the cuts were more crisp, and, and everybody played quicker. And so someone like a, a Barry Sanders was a phenomenal turf runner because he was so quick. Yeah. Um, I don't really know too much about field turf, whether it's exactly like grass. I, d I do know there's no uh, divots and potholes and, and uh, sprinkler heads you have to worry about. So third and four. Little option action. Option play. Late toss. Nice, nice pick up here for the Crusaders. First down for First sure. Down. That was a dangerous toss by um, Matt Pendergast. I wouldn't recommend it. Wasn't exactly textbook, was it? <laughs> we, Matt's my son, and we had a conversation about, you know, Oh, we have a replay on this play. So he's attacking the line of scrimmage. 
tosses it out late where the relationship with the tailback and the port quarterback is critical. You lose that relationship, you know, it could be a, a, a turnover. But he got it there, and Dashiell caught it. Nice pickup. First down, Holy Cross. Toss to the and left. Toss. Played nicely. Good decision by Jean-Luc not to the hold edge. the guy. Looks like another first down. Yep. Good pursuit by Rigi. They had five ball care, or tacklers around the ball. They're into, into Rigi territory now. Will Garris trying to get his uh, corner outside on the edge to kind of set a, a wall to turn the play back inside. Oh, what, a, what a nice, uh, I don't know how much the fans can see this at home, but what a nice pitcher to be watching high school football in a field like this. It's beautiful, actually. The it's little mist in the air kind of makes it even more magical. Nice evening so far, and that rain's holding off, so we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. High formation. That was Richardson getting stopped. Adam like Moody at the line of scrimmage. Adam Moody with his third solo tackle of the, uh, the game. That's quite a output for such a, a grade nine. In such a big game. A start. So here's a replay of this. this so it's a little eye formation going off the right tackle. And he just kind of, just oh, he comes in. off the corner. Comes up, nice, nice low, there. heads up. Textbook. Come on, Perry. Come on, Perry. So it's second and about 11 for the Crusaders. Still scoreless here in the first quarter. A different set, a single back of the old uh, wishbone, wing T set stuff. Here's another toss. Here Richardson again. Nice block on 16 He's by Eric Dodwell. Space. It's up there for a first down for Holy Cross, pushed out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. So they're trying to attack and establish the outside run. Rigi's really clamming up the off-tackle play. It looks like they're getting the edge, at least the last couple of runs. Richardson's managed to get that edge. On this left-hand side, yes. Such a run oriented game. You can see everybody within uh, five yards of the line of scrimmage for Rigi. Are they going to throw up another pass? A little like play action. It up. It's wide it's open. Going wide open. Catches he's, it. Looks like he's going to get in. Nice, nice tackle. tackle. Is that Adam it, Moody it again? It looks like it was Moody again coming back to get that. That's his fourth solo tackle. So that's uh, Miracle, number 77, who catches that long pass. Certainly blown coverage there by Rigi. But a nice play by. Moody to come back and get uh, so the tackle a, there. So here's a replay. You can see all the Rigi defenders very tight to the line of scrimmage, and the tight end sleeps down, sneaks down the middle. Play action, just uh, they all bid on it there. Pendergast didn't overthrow him when the guy's wide open. You don't want to make sure you want to make sure he catches it. But if it was a little bit earlier, it would have been a touchdown. Nice tackle by Moody again. Will that loosen up the defense? I get they're down first and goal on the four yard line. See if they give it to Big Eric Dodwell. Yeah, they do. It inside. And he drives and he's and he in. Scores. Touchdown, Crusaders. Touchdown, Crusaders. Number 23, Eric Dodwell. Eric Dodwell. So it's 6 nothing, Holy Cross. They're coming in for the extra point now. It's amazing what a few successful plays do. I mean, all of a sudden you run the ball effect effectively outside. Everybody tightens up. And they, oh, well, here's a replay on the, so they're just giving it to Dodwell up the right guard, center. Nice job, my Pearson pushing the guy out of the way. Just barreled his way in there. And he just, he's a tough guy to bring down. He's about 215, 220 as a grade 10 kid with some speed. And he's tough. And kick is good. 7-0 Holy Cross, Point first quarter, the Friday Night Lights three, game. Three, Tom Daschle. Score is the Holy Cross Crusaders, seven, the Regiopolis Notre Dame Panthers, no score. Now we'll see what kind of character